Hey guys, and welcome back to Prey. Now, before we do anything, I want to test a theory that I've been tipped off with, which sounds quite interesting. Right, if we put this into the recycler, 1.88, we should, in theory, get 1.88 back out of it. We do. Okay. 1.88 of material. Now, let's try, for argument's sake, to split the pack into two equal parts. And we still get 1.88 out of it. That's interesting. So that bug has been patched. Very curious. Let's just try one more thing. So, if we put that in, we get 264. 264. Cool. Now, let's split the pack. Now, I'm doing this for science. 264. Right, so they have patched that. Apparently, when this game first... You dear. When this game first came out, there was a bug that allowed you, if you split items down uh, out of their stacks, for some reason, the way the game worked everything out, you actually ended up getting more resources. So you could essentially create an infinite amount of resources just by uh, splitting the same amount over and over and over again. Now, I wasn't going to do that because that kind of ruins the game. However, I just wanted f uh, for science to see if they had um, fixed that. Right, anyway, let's continue. We do have our Q-beam, which has uh, been quite powered up now. So, Grant Lockwood, hey? What's up here? Oh, dear. Almost. Almost. This looks like a interesting way of getting about... Well, it... Oh, hello. It would be... Um, if it worked, I guess that lift is not working. Okay, well that was easy enough. Let's have a little look. There is a, a door down there that we can go to. That's the life support. And we haven't been in here yet either. Right, well, let's open up and see if we can find our friend. Shipping and receiving, this is. Yeah, so what have they been shipping and receiving? What happened to that dude that was up here shouting his head off? Did he die? Uh, what is the purpose of that? Hmm. Okay, well, no matter. Let's go in here. Looks like there's a heck of a lot of lootables. Oh, there you are. I'm just being stupid. You. You're the dude that I, I saved. To thank you for the timely rescue. No problem. I hope you recall me. Dr. What Igwe. happened to your face? Igwe. Your brother, Alex, brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. i saving it, but... Well... Now might be best. Here. I'm sure you could make better use of it. What is it? Oh, a Neuromod. Oh, thanks, bud. Uh, I guess. I mean, we could have taken that Neuromod off your dead body, but sure. Upsets my equilibrium. I need to steady myself after the slow roll of the crate. I yes. It turning, you know? My stomach along with it. Closest <laughs> I've ever come to vertigo and claustrophobia. All at once. Must be a Neuromod that could cure that. Probably will be. Uh, yeah, don't go getting yourself killed now, buddy. Right, we've got a wrench. I'll have it. What else have we got here? Oh, frayed wire. Very nice. Oh, God. Uh, more bananas. Glove. Prisoners of a space industry. Working aboard a space station like Talus is comparable to working on Earth. Employees tend to forget that they're in space and adopt very well. 
Yeah, I can imagine. By contrast, a trove of psychological and behavioural data has been compiled by a decade-long study by um, Pythia's employees. The facility sits deep in the crater on the lunar pole, permanently shadowed by a surround, uh, and surrounded by a kilometre of ice. Beneath uh, Pythias is a vast network of cramped tunnels where helium-3, hydrogen and platinum are mined. This is a dark, cold and often terrifying workplace cut off from the warm glow of Earth which extracts a heavy and often fatal toll on the crew. Huh. Well, that doesn't sound good. So we have a computer behind us. Look at all this grub. Yeah. I thought... I don't know what I thought. Oh, hello. It's good to see you. Is Transtar mounting a rescue operation? <laughs> I was in fuel storage when, when the fire broke out and everyone began running. But they weren't running from the fire. It was these shapes. I had contained the fire and I was trying to reach the power supply when Al, Officer Rose, came and got me out. I'm glad he did. I didn't know what was going on or anything about those things. Everyone I worked with, they're dead, aren't they? Pretty I much. If one of the creatures caused the explosion in fuel storage. Are they intelligent? Did they plan this? I heard uh, all the escape pods malfunctioned. All of them. How is that possible? Well, uh, I don't think they're intelligent. They have intelligence, but they have some kind of guiding Ronnie force told with us what them. happened in the arboretum. Is anywhere on the station safe? No. Rani told us what happened in the arboretum. Is anywhere on the station No, safe? I don't think anything is safe here. To be completed within six hours of incident, location fuel storage. The accident occurred during the fuel transfer. The blast walls held. Now the blast door is closed and the damage is contained, but we lost some of the crew in there. Power has been knocked out to multiple cargo systems. Can't get the resources I need to get in there. Everyone is tied up. I don't know why I'm filling this out, except I don't know what else to do at this point. Talus is falling apart. Hmm. Well, if only I had reached the power supply in time. Yes, well, you can't beat yourself up about it, but I am going to take all your food. Other people may well be hungry, but uh, if only I could have put out the fire. It's I'm kind of the important one here. I could have done more. We can always do more, my dear. We can always do more. But you have to remember, you can always also do less. Um. Yeah, thanks for the grub, anyway. How did this all happen? Well, you're really asking a couple of questions, there. Eh? Ooh. Nice little sleeping area here. Steve, this is Captain Hale, shuttle exalt. I'm trying to hail the bridge. Getting zip. Can you confirm, please? I have some system malfunctions. It's uh, it's across the board. It's hard to make sense. I need to park ASAP. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we know what happened to him. Hearing some noise in the cabin. Shit, what is going on? Well, he got fragged. Before we go exploring. Up there. Now we have our f ooh. Now we have our food. Might be worth checking some of these other places out. Um. Let's get you sorted. We've got quite a bit of munch here now. I'll get you. The trouble is, there's no real point in breaking all this stuff down anymore. Because without synthetic material, we're kind of screwed. Although that does give us a little bit. And excuse the sneezing fit. Right, give me that. Okay, so what was down here? There was another way to go. I'm assuming this is where the big bad -a boom happened. Oh, hello. Um, Morgan, can you... Grab onto that, please. Thank you. Uh, well, we've already searched you. 
Uh, Morgan. You're not very good at this whole ledge grab malarkey, are you? Once more with feeling, my dear. Come on. There we go. Alright. Ooh. What's in here? Nice. Weapons upgrade kit. Sweet. I know where that's going. Uh, firing time. I'm assuming this will give us more for our ammo. Because every time we reload, we only put in 100 cells. So if we can get more firing time out of that 100 cells, and I think that's kind of where I went a little bit wrong with this as well. I think maybe we should have uh, modded it up to be more efficient. It doesn't matter too much, I suppose. But in hindsight, probably would have been a good idea. I've got gas. That's not good. Is it poisonous gas? Yes, it is. I suppose we could seal that up. There we go. Oh, this place is gassy. Oh, hello. What have you got? You've got banana pills, some shotgun shells, EMP charge, and that. Well, we'll take it, I suppose. How the devil did you get up here? That's some impressive stuff, buddy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, two medkits. Medkits aren't really that. Oh, God. Useful, I say, as I fuck everything up. Morgan, seriously. I'm going to insist that that was your fault for not grabbing the edge. Alright. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything else up here. But then, to be fair, that was quite a nice little stash of good... What about over here? Oh man, I love this booster. Did we search that one? No, we did not. Another med kit. Again, not exactly amazing, but we'll take it. Alright, so I assume this is this place completely looted. More or less. Well, can't actually block that up. Um, okay. Well, we'll have to go around then, won't we? Like so. Ooh, hello. Let's get some of this fire out here. This place has. Oh, shit. Did we really chuck our wrench? Never mind. Now, if I was a wrench, where would I be? Okay, that's curious. Can we equip you? How do we equip? There we go, favourite. And then we can go here and give it one of those. There we go. Good enough. Well, that was a lot of work for not a lot. Looks like your ass got fried, my friend. Locked out until I update my credentials. How about uh, reploy a revolver? I won't forget that anytime soon. Alright. Well, we shall take that shit. Can we go under? No. 
No, we can't. Well, that sucked. Ooh, we've already been here. Oh yeah, this is just the other way into here. Oh, okay. Well, that's a little bit disappointing. How do we get in here? Can't get into the loading bay through there. What about through here? That is also locked up tight. Okay, well, I think this is making our choice a little bit easier. Unless we go through here. I assume. This place has been smashed. Ah, so we need the key card for that. Or do we? Ah, fatal ex oh yeah, that's how we got in here. Um That one's also fucked. That one is not quite so fucked. Right, okay, so I guess the only way we can go is up here. Alright. Well. That's fair enough. Oh, can we open these? What do these have? Ooh, they've got stuff. Spare parts. I like it when they have stuff. Um, no. No. Come on, Morgan. You can do this. There we go. Okay. Typhon Law would take it. Ooh. Nope. Oh, shit. That's okay. What was this? Engineer. Let's have an engineer. I remember, because this wasn't operational last time, was it? Hey, pal. Do me up. Cheers, boss. Good as new. How can I get up there? Actually, there we go. Travelling with style. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Uh, well, let's put you there and deploy you. There we go. Now, weapons upgrade kit. Let's also put that on this. Yeah, so we've got like an extra second and a half of juice for this bad boy now. I like it. Eight seconds. Christ, I wonder I wonder if we get to go for like ten seconds when she's fully doled up. So when you think about it, that's like a good 30-40% more firepower and twice the ammo efficiency. There we go. Thanks for getting Oh, hey guys. She's still rattled. We need to help as many of them get to safety as we can. What is it doing? Oh my god, did it? I think I'm going to be sick. It just made another one of those things, like it like it pulled it right out of Enoch's corpse. That's what they do. Maybe. I don't know, maybe it saved him. It could still be Enoch. Does it look like it? Sam, promise me you'll kill me if I ever end up like that. Sarah will get us out of this. She got us this far. We're safe in here. For now, I'm going to check the perimeter. Yeah, you, uh, you do that. In the first stages of the attack, Dr. Yu, I'm glad you were able to save me. A smuggler in Cargo Bay, Quentin Burvis, never uh -huh. filled me in. I knew him. I didn't know he was involved in the smuggling ring on the station. Thought he was a friend. Guess I wasn't looking closely enough. This is well cool. I work for a living. Captain Elazar's over there. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. This is well cool, man. Medical bay. Well, I think we're going to have to go clear out those hostiles. I was not expecting, um, like, this kind of many... Well, really, let's start that again. I was not expecting all these survivors. I really wasn't.
I'm always having a rough day, sir. Broken cooler fan. Ooh. Broken cooler fan, frayed wire. Some stuff, some more stuff. Well, guys, I think we are going to have to go out and uh, get the invaders back under control. Because there's a lot of them out there. Oh, we didn't read that computer, did we? Fried hard drives, nice. We're just like losing everything. I hope nobody needs this stuff. Crew utilities. We have the area map. Doctor uh, yeah. Figures he'd survive. Dumb luck, I suppose. So you are El Bossy. If you find a way out of here, take Dr. Igwe with you. Maybe Why? he can be of some help elsewhere. You don't seem overly struck on the guy. This is Gus down in cargo. Hey, listen, uh, did you order any reployers from Earth? Order any what? Reployer. It's a machine. A uh, machine? What does it do? Well, I'm not sure. I was hoping that you could tell me. Wait, is this some kind of a joke? I, I'm, I'm busy. You're an industrial designer, right? So I thought you would know. You obviously don't understand what I do. And I didn't order a deployer. Redeploy it. Ask somebody in engineering. I did. I've been asking everyone. No one ordered it or knows anything about it. Weird. Well, perhaps I can come down this evening and take a look at it. That'd be great. Thanks, Lane. Yeah, no problem. Huh, reployer, so nobody knows what these things are. How curious. Uh, bullets, four neuromods, very nice. Fried hard drives. It's a nice little load of loot here, actually. So you came Hello. all this way, only to get back into Talos? Yep. The only way in is through the door to Cargo Bay B, which is filled with those creatures that your brother insisted couldn't escape confinement. Kind of like you. I'm uh, the only one with the code. It's yours if you can help us secure the firepower we should have had when assigned here. The Eradicator Turret Fabrication Plan. The Eradicator Turret? You have the fabrication plan already. My men told me power's been restored to the fabricator. That was you, wasn't it? I was. It was? to underestimate you. Doctor, let's get the EATs built, deployed, and then... Then we we'll see how fast those bastards can shape shift into corpses. Now you're talking. Remember, it's the eradicator fabrication plan we want, not the reployer plan. Whatever the hell a reployer is. <laughs> right. Hey, buddy. Place turrets in the loading zone of cargo bay. Okay. Open cargo bay. Right. So we have to go fix this mess. Um, don't know if Wiggy, or Dr. Igwe is lucky to be here or not. Wiggy. Safer in his crate. Yeah, well. That's not for us to decide, is it, buddy? Um, okay. So I guess I'm going down. These Transtar PPM-8 pistols are mostly for show. They don't do much against the if attackers. He there, he might have With the eradicated turrets, us. we have a chance. Yeah, yeah, it's all good, buddy. To be fair, mate. Oh, hello. Hey, buddy. What you doing? You're about to get wasted. To be fair, guys, you can just send me in on my own. I could handle it. I mean, mostly handle it anyway. Must be a way to get some turrets online. Look, look, look! We'll, I'll get you your turrets, all right. Doctor Igwe is blessed. It was fortunate you came along when you did. Temporary storage. Please notify. What cage? Thank you for saving Officer. Oh, Tommy, these. Doctor, you. She has told us of the. 
telepaths. It's been so long since I've seen it. Yes, it feels like years. I'll take that as a compliment. Right, okay. What have we got here? Send someone to find a cutting torch. We need to get these into cargo cages and see what supplies are in there. Yeah, well. I'm just here for all the goods. Ooh, turret. Glue cannon. Frayed wire. Holy crap. What is making that noise? Well, let's get the turret out. Right, let's set up that one. Uh, we shall deploy it. Oh yeah, these are just eradicators, aren't they? Right, so... Oh, what's that? Oh, oh, that would have been stupid. What did I learn? Be more thorough. Here's me thinking I already was pretty thorough. Uh, can I shut that noise off? That's really, really irritating. Yeah, what's that door? That is really strange. Um, you know what? Can always use the supplies. Nice. Disrupt a stun gun. Handy, I guess. More barricades. Ooh, a Q-beam. Holy shit. Well, fair dues. We'll have it. Okay, so we've got a spare Q-beam that we can break down. Cargo staging area. You're right, buddy. The plans could help, but even if we had the EAT set, having real guns would have been better. Yeah, well, it's fine. Any chance of uh, opening that up for me? At all? No? Um, I've got a real gun for you guys. I have a Q-beam. Weapon that you're welcome to. Can we really not... That is so menacing in such a cool way. Okay, well, that's enough of that. Um, let's upgrade. Where is R1? That's R1. How many upgrades do we have? We've got two. Sweet! Right, so, okay. And again. Ten seconds. So, yeah, we literally double its useful capacity. Whilst also making it, uh, or its ammo efficiency, whilst making it a fuck ton more powerful. Right, let's go back up. Okay, you're right, guys. None of you were hungry, were you? Because, uh... I got a little bit of food if anyone wants it. Now, let's... I suppose... How much does it take to repair these? It only takes two parts to repair them. I can't actually get them in here, though, can I? It's a shame I can't open that up. Um, can we... We can jump around and carry these at the same time. That's kind of interesting. Um, don't need you. 
certainly don't need you. Right. So you can't give these guys any weapons, which is kind of sucky, really. Now, is there anything we want? We do have some neuro mods to spend. We've got six neuro mods. What can we use? Um, could go for combat focus, I suppose. That was impact. Yeah, I don't care about that. Increase the infest. Nah, we don't need that effectiveness. Uh, neuro mods. Increase your side pool. Allows instillate. Yeah, don't really need that. We kind of have everything I really want to be honest. Stamina could be nice, I suppose, but let's just uh, upgrade that. Good enough. Good enough. Now, can I get these up? The ah, yeah, we've got the lift, haven't we? So, carry. Where was that lift? There it is. So I'm going to assume that if we get up here, man, this would be so much easier if we could just open that door. All right, let's repair these turrets. That way they fold up. Repair. And we should repair you. Right, cool. Now, how can we get these to where they need to go? Uh, cargo lifts. Hey, buddy. the best thing we can really do is just go up here. Come on. Yes. Kind of. There we go. Now we'll load this up with the turrets. And we shall reinforce as many as we can. So we've got one. Where's the other one? Uh, there's the other one. Alright, so that gives us two. We've already got one there, so that's three. Here's the thing, right? I don't understand why I can't just go out there myself and do it. In fact, I may very well be able to do just that. But if I can get this place defended, so these guys feel a little bit better... Might not be a terrible thing. I thought there was more turrets. Where? Oh yeah, there's another one up there. Alright, come on. Yeah, man. Here we go. Oh, nice. Alright, come here, buddy. Alright, yeah, that will give us four turrets. There doesn't appear to be a massive, like... Point either in um where am I going? In fortifying them. Because it really doesn't do that much. What is that sound? Is that this? It just fries the place. Oh well, we should leave that as is then. That's fucked. So, one would assume that if I wanted, I could probably make some more of those turrets and take them over with me, but that's just like a huge pain in the ass. 
Ugh, God damn it. That's such a hard jump to make. Alright, we can do this. There we go. Beautiful. Right, give me the turrets. Okay. Kind of a pain in the ass that we've got to do it one by one. But it kind of makes sense, I suppose. I'm hoping that doesn't damage them by throwing them down there. Can't imagine that it would, but you never know. La da dee, la da da. I have loved this game so much, guys. I really have. I have enjoyed this way more than Bioshock. And I really like Bioshock. I think the setting of this game just appeals to me more. And uh, the combat and the gunplay is so much better than Bioshock. You know, it's kind of funny going back to Bioshock 1 when we did that Let's Play. Um, quite a while ago now, actually. The gunplay of the original Bioshock really has not held up. Hasn't held up at all. Right. There we go. Yes, it broke them. Really? God damn it. That's annoying. So you can go that. Um, G to repair. G to repair. Okay, now. In theory, we should have the overwhelming firepower that we need. Oh, go right there, buddy. Uh, just let me just. Uh, <coughs> there we go. Actually, probably the best thing to do would be to try and space these out a little bit. You know what this is reminding me of a little bit of? That bit in Half Life 2, towards the end of the game, where you've got to. Uh, you've got those. Oh, place two or more turrets in the loading zone. Okay. Oh, I see. This is the actual loading zone where they want the turrets. It's hard to imagine these alien fuckers surviving. Yeah, that bit in um in Half Life Two in the Citadel is it? Yeah, it's kind of the Citadel place. Look, can you just fucking deploy the turrets, please? Like that. No, come on. Stop arsing around. Oh, I see. Now they actually get out of the way as well. Right. Save. Let's put a hard save down here, guys. How many parts do we have? I suppose... I don't actually think we're going to need to. These are online and primed. Can't wait until our friends get a taste of these. Here's the yeah. code for Cargo Baby. I'm going to be honest. You're probably going to be disappointed with these things. Now, what other missions do we have? Because I'm pretty sure they gave us a couple of... Talus exterior. Alright, so we still don't have these. Right. Let's open the door and see what happens. Here we go. I'm just going to stand back and enjoy. Alright guys, let's do this. Come on, form an orderly queue, beasties. I got all day. In theory... Did we lose anyone? No. No, we didn't. Wasn't sure how that would play out, but I like how it did. Didn't realize how much I. That was mad. And how much I didn't. 
Now that we well, that was a slaughter. Here, we can hold out indefinitely. Good. If you send other survivors here, I will protect them. Nice. Cool. So I'm guessing, in theory, that can go badly. I suppose. Kind of a shame that we lost some people, but never mind. And by losing people, I of course mean all of these corpses wandering about. Right, let's have a look what we've got. Recycler charge is always nice in a pinch. You know, I probably didn't even have to use my shotgun once, to be fair. However, it always feels good to unleash this puppy. Ah, Christopher Smith. Sorry to see you there, buddy. This could be a nice little gold mine for us. And indeed it is. Mainly full of uh, food, really. Now, what else have we got? Not quite sure what's going on with this music. I would be tempted to fortify those turrets for them as well, but... It requires so many parts for very little return. At least that's kind of the way I see it anyway. So there's one down there. Crate. Okay, cool. Loads of crates. We are actually dropping some frames as well for the first time in the game. I'm not sure why. Uh, game. Game. Thank you. That was almost annoying. Almost. Nice. Look at all this stuff. I mean, okay. It's not always a lot of stuff, but it's still cool. What else have we got? Ah. This leads us around full circle. Cool. So that's why we can't actually get in there to begin with. Because this place is full of bad nicks. Lots of stink... Ah, weapon mods. Lots of stinking bad nicks. You know, they don't make very efficient use of these uh, shipping containers. Well, that's only a one. We'll hack it. However, we know from experience that the ones are kind of the hardest. Either that or I am actually getting better at this. What do we have? What could be locked away? More weapon mods. Anti-rad. My god. So much stuff. Be able to max out... Uh, almost max out our Q-beam at this rate. Not that I'm complaining. Really? We had all that cool stuff. And then you have to go drop that on us. Now, is that all of them? Nope. There's one more over here. Uh, two more. Nice. Keep them coming. I bet these ones that have to be hacked literally have nothing but junk. Yeah. Yeah, mum. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Get that shotgun out, or not. Look at all these weapon upgrades. It almost sounds like I'm complaining. But I'm not. Really not complaining about the weapon upgrades. I am su- Ooh, this is cosy. I am surprised. At, um... How much stuff is here? I really am. It is, it's bloody crazy. We haven't looted this one. Apparently. And these are so easy to hack as well. Which is curious. So easy to hack. I guess we are maybe just getting a little bit better at hacking. Not bad. Not bad. I think that is everything looted. 
At least I hope that's everything looted. It would be criminal to actually leave anything behind. Alright, let's check the map. Right, let's have a little look at the map. Where have we been? So that's this place completely taxed. That's that place completely taxed. Got the guts there. Okay. So I guess this was just like a little bonusy area more than anything else. Eh. We're not going to fortify those turrets. There really is no point. So that leads to the exterior. Oh, hello. We still can't get out there, sadly. So, let's upgrade some stuff. We've got, what, five? Yeah, good guess. Five. Well, Q-beam. Oh. Um, Q-beam. Can you... There we go. Ooh. Kind of upgraded everything I want to on it, to be honest. Not really too bothered about the reloading speed, I'm going to be honest. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, again, shots, I guess. Recharge rate. I guess, yeah, just make it more efficient. Like so. Because 15, that is a lot of shots. Right, let's do a little bit of save scumming here. So, let's test our theory. With this. Should have done this before, actually. Hang on, what we can do, we can test it with a Q beam. So, we've still got one upgrade left as well. Um, that's maxed. I guess we could get reload speed on that. Where's our handgun? Magazine capacity, I guess. Right, let's equip that. So, in theory, in theory, it should still just take a hundred to reload it. Yeah. And I don't actually think I saved it before doing that. Never mind. It doesn't matter. But yeah, to get 15 oh, shots out of those problem. batteries instead. That is pretty crazy. Can we not... We can't go out here. So, self-destruct key. We won. And I'm still breathing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you still did. Breathing. Yeah, we're still breathing, buddy. Really wish we had the key for that. That would be so much easier. You know, I'm not even that salty about wasting those Q-beam cells. It doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, you can patch me up. Hasn't been that rough. Can't do anything with you still. Right, let's go. See, we don't need to manufacture... Area secured. I, I thought we were dead for sure. Well, we're not. told us what happened in the Arboretum. Is anywhere on the station safe? Well, Can we talk to her, actually, whilst we're here? We made it. Hello. Maybe now we can take back the rest of Talos. Yeah, uh, I don't think so, actually, buddy. I don't think you're going to be taking back Talos. I mean, that was small fry compared to what's out there. I don't want to explain to you what a nightmare is. I thought we were dead for sure. Yes, well, you underestimated us. That was your problem. Um, right, stall that. Get rid of those. We've got way too much food, haven't we? 
way too much. Never mind. Right, break it down. I suppose we could produce something, but... What would we make? Weapon upgrade kits we don't need because we have literally all the upgrades that we're ever going to need. I guess I could just put the last one into the recharge rate and have that so it's maxed. So the stun gun is now literally all it can be. I suppose the only thing we really need to make now is ammo. And we're doing alright for ammo. So we can go back out here. Self-destruct key is this way. Who are you? You an engineer? Yes you are. Do me up pal. Can't go that way still. How do we get through there then? Danger. How the hell do we get in there? Guts loading bay. Because that door wasn't working if I remember correctly. Was it? Pretty sure it wasn't. Because that door's not working. How do we open that? There has to be a way. We're getting some horrible performance problems now. Lots of frame dippage. Which we never used to get before. Examine. That is annoying. Oh well. Ah, come on. I don't want to have to go back outside. Unless someone here has the key card. It's totally possible. I, I thought we were dead for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're I'm not gonna give me anything. That. You're not gonna give me anything. No sign of any typhon activity. Beginning to sweep the area. Yeah, you do that. You're doing a damn good job. If I die, please throw me out of an airlock. Burn me, but don't let them make me into one of them. Will do, buddy. Will do. As as we stick together. Yeah, cool story. Right, now, um, I have no idea where this keycard is. There has to be one. Surely. What's that? That's a note. Please relay the following to the security crew at the next staff meeting. Earthside sent a very good appraisal of our provisioning and cargo staff during last month's video uh, by a board of director members. Talus cargo staff performed admirably during the inspection. Well done. Keep up the good work. Not going to uh, that felt good. I haven't seen that much action since the Middle East evacuation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, you cool, know, cool, cool. If you ever wanted to work with my team when we get off this death trap, I'd... Consider it. You yeah, well, that's high me, praise. And I'm not as friendly as it may seem. Also, um, I don't think I'm going to get off the station alive. I'm just saying that. Seems pretty obvious that uh, this is going to end poorly. Psionics. It's all true, isn't it? What these aliens can do, what we can do. To think it was considered chicanery, flim flam, pseudoscience. Indeed. Quite the target for mockery. But your brother, your brother, he believed. And so did you. At least, you did before your self experiment in the sim lab. Self experiment? Ah. So everybody seems to know about this. Or at least all the high level people, anyway. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I am going to look for the keycard or. 
the missing link, shall we say, off camera. That was quite a cool little part, actually. Uh, I never expected anything like this. Um, yeah, massive uh, Half-Life 2 memories come flowing back from this. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, till next time.